Hey guys, Sophie here from My Cup Runs Over, and today I want to tell you about one of our favorite online homeschool math programs, Mr. D Math. Our family is now in our third year of using Mr. D Math for middle school and high school math. Um, we have taken pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, as well as advanced writing uh, with Mr. D Math, and we just absolutely love this program. We love Mr. D, we love his style of teaching. Um, we've used a lot of different um, homeschooling curriculum over the years. Um, I don't wanna throw anyone under the bus because I know different things work for different people, so I'm not gonna name all the ones that we've tried. Uh, but for our two oldest kids who struggled with a lot of the other math curriculum that we offered, they didn't wanna do their math, there was daily meltdowns over math about not getting it, and I couldn't understand why they didn't get it. Like, is it my teaching? Is it the curriculum? Is it, am I pushing them too hard or not pushing them enough? I didn't know what was going on. And um, it was just such a struggle for all of us and we were fighting every day. Uh, but once we switched to Mr. D math, that kind of all went away. Um, the first year, you know, pre-algebra was a little bit of a learning curve for them because it was such a change in um, the content that they had been focusing up to that point. Um, but they just latched on to Mr. D and his style of teaching, his delivery uh, immediately and just stuck with it and did exceptionally well. Um, and now uh, my older daughter has moved on to Algebra 1 and Geometry um, and just loves working with Mr. D. So in a minute, I'm gonna actually flip the computer on and show you um, what the back background looks like um, and go through the Algebra 1 course with you just to give you an overview of what they offer. Um, but I just wanted to give you um, just a couple of things that we love about Mr. D. Uh, so first of all, we I love that even though the teaching is done online, the coursework is done on paper. Um, so for some other math programs that we've tried, um, everything is done online and I think that as you get up into the higher levels of math it's so important to develop that skill of writing out every line of work um, that was drilled into me in high school <laughs> I still remember my math teacher saying show every step show every step put a square around your answer um, those things never left me um, even into university right so I am so happy that Mr. D um, encourages kids to write everything out in that way um, and when he um, has his solutions document and you print those out and compare them um, he's doing it you know color-coded line by line showing every step so kids can find where they've made their mistakes um, especially as you're getting into algebra one and algebra two and uh, the questions are getting more complicated than they were in the upper elementary years um, that's just such an important thing but the online videos are priceless because um, there's just some subjects that are super hard to learn from just reading a textbook by yourself or having your mom read a textbook to you. Um, and Mr. D, um, his teaching style is just so clear. Um, he communicates all of the steps. He makes sure that kids understand the why behind math con concepts. It's not just like, here's this thing and it is this way because it is this way, so just go and memorize it. Mm -mm. He actually takes the time to explain everything and even from the first year that my kids started using Mr. D Math, um, they basically stopped coming to me for help. They didn't need my help. Um, I would say maybe like twice a month someone comes to me and says, I don't understand my math. And I'll say, well, how many times did you watch the video? Oh, once. <laughs> so, okay, watch it again and then come back. And they almost never come back. That's how good he is. It's usually just that they miss something he said because there's so much there. Um, and if I sit down and watch the video with them because, you know, I need help. I don't remember Algebra 1. <laughs> I, need to, I need help to understand it too. So I say, okay, well, I'm going to have to watch the video too. Let's watch it together. Um, and we watch it and literally within five minutes, every time they're like, oh yeah, now I get it. I don't need you, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> I, that's my goal in homeschool is to not be needed, to make myself uh, redundant and that they're just able to do these things independently. Um, I love how there's always help there available for the kids. So it's an online program, but they are not left to their own devices. There's always help. Um, there's scheduled extra help sessions that they can go to if they're struggling and they wanna have um, a one-on-one -on -one conversation, video conversation with a, uh, an instructor, either Mr. D or one of the teachers that works for him. Um, so they can get help directly like that. But usually, you know, my kids don't even really go to those because um, they can get instant help by sending a message. If they do get really stuck, they can just send a message to him right from within the platform and somebody replies almost instantly and just lets them know, um, you know, walks them through whatever they're having trouble with. So there's so much support for the students. Um, it's such a robust program. There's 
they teach to mastery so there's lots of reviews um, there's lots of room for growth um, he encourages you to you know watch the videos as you work through your coursework um, use the solutions as you work through it it's not like um, you're being tested all the time you're constantly just being having your mind nourished all the time as you work through this program and my kids are just growing so much in their understanding of math from working with mr. D so what I'm gonna do now is just switch to the computer and walk you through the, the um, platform dashboard and go through the Algebra 1 course and just show you what it's all about. So this is what your student start page is going to look like when you sign into Mr. D. Um, if it doesn't look like this, just click on the start button over here and you should see this. Um, on the left hand panel here, we have all of the courses that this student is regist registered in. Um, so we can just switch between those seamlessly. And on the right hand side, we have all of the current class announcements, um, as well as any extra help sessions that are coming up. So usually those happen um, at least a couple of times a week. Uh, students can just sign in and get help with either um, if it's a help session that's specific to their course, then it'll be all people, all the people there will be from their course asking questions about that content. Um, and I believe there's also some that are for any course. So you'll get sort of just a different um, mixed group of students coming in and asking different questions. So that can be kind of fun as fun as well. Um, so if you wanted to log into your extra help session, there's a button right here to do that. Um, now, when you get first enter the course for the first time, you'll want to go to getting started with Mr. D Math. Um, which will just give you a little bit of information about how the course works. Um, how do you complete a course section? Um, how to do the online quizzes or test? How to contact Mr. D? How to join the extra help session? Um, and this is definitely worth watching uh, because there's one thing about this program that's a little bit tricky and um, you definitely want to get this right. It's entering your grade for each of the assignments. So um, there's sort of a a little bit of a complicated method to doing that. So you just want to go in here and watch the video on how to do that um, so that you your student is able to record their proper grades for each assignment. Because um, all of the coursework is done on paper. So at the beginning of the year, what I like to do is come in here and print out the coursework by chapter um, just so that the student has it in advance. It's all there ready to go in his or her notebook. Um, we don't have to print out the lessons for each day because that can get um, kind of frustrating. And if you run into any printer issues um, right when your student's trying to do their math, um, that can be just like a major roadblock to getting your work done for the day. So I just like to go through and print this all out right up front at the beginning of the year, put it in a binder. Um, when I'm feeling like extra organized, I'll actually print a second copy for them to use um, just for studying for exams. Because um, sometimes by the time they get to their semester exam, they don't remember some of the earlier chapters. So um, sometimes I'll just print out a second copy depending on the student and their study style. Um, so, okay, so sorry, um, I wanted to show you uh, what happens when you click this, but it, it's actually a direct download. So when you do download this, what you get is a pacing guide that sort of lays out how many lessons a student should be completing, or sorry, how many assignments a student should be completing each week in order to finish the course in a traditional school year. Um, and I think it's usually about three lessons, three assignments per week. So it's not too bad. Um, we actually try to get a little bit ahead of that, um, just so that on those weeks where we fall behind, it's a not a big deal. Um, but you know, some lessons, some assignments take a lot longer than others. So we just try to be flexible and play it by ear. Okay. And after that, you're basically just logging in, uh, clicking into each of the different lessons separately. Um, there's 12 different lessons, there's two semester exams. And if we want to see everything, we can go in here. to the assignments page. Um, so this shows all of the work that the student needs to do uh, to complete the course. So like I mentioned before, there's 12 lessons. Um, so the tools and language of algebra, integers like terms and more, linear equations, number theory and graphing linear equations, 
uh, more linear equations, systems of equations, inequalities, then you take an exam, polynomial functions, polynomial factoring, solving quadratic equations, rational expressions and equations, radical expressions and equations, statistics and probability, and then another semester exam. And as you, you can see here that um, each time the students go in, they do a lesson. And sorry, this is, this is the lesson here. Um, so there's an online video they watch where Mr. D teaches the concept. Um, then they do their coursework, which if you've already printed it out for them, they don't need to download it here. Um, once they've done their coursework, they can go in and check their solutions. And then they will enter, they'll enter their grade here. Um, and there's instructions on how to do that. And, and then after each lesson, there's also that um, five question online quiz. Now, um, like I said before, they do have the extra help sessions um, available several times a week. But if at any time a student is struggling with a particular question or anything in their account, um, sometimes uh, my daughters will accidentally enter the wrong grade for their coursework and um, they might actually do it. I think you get two tries to enter your grade. They might actually make that same mistake twice and they need to um, maybe ask the teacher, how do I go about um, resetting my grade or can you reset my grade for me so that I can enter it properly? Um, whatever they need to ask the teacher, they can just click right here, send a new message, and they reply, oh gosh, it's, it's never more than an hour or two, but it's often like right away. They're really fast about getting back to you. Um, and they're super gracious to the kids. Um, they, <laughs> my kids are pretty new to instant messaging and sometimes they'll just send like endless messages to the teachers and the teachers are just like super generous and gracious to them and never make them feel bad for doing that. Um, they really do make themselves available. And, that's basically it. Um, if as a parent, you can always go in here to the assignments tab. And <clears throat> I just like to check in on this um, every Friday or Saturday and just make sure that my kids are on track. Um, you can see if they've submitted it. Um, we haven't actually, this particular daughter hasn't started this course yet. Um, my other daughter's already completed it. Uh, this one's just working on pre-algebra right now. Um, but as she goes through, you'll see her grades and her score um, and the percent of her overall grade. And if there's ever a grade that, she, you know, is sort of below what her average is um, and she's done a couple of attempts and she wants to go back and try it again, we can always just contact them about resetting that grade um, because they do like to teach to mastery at Mr. D Math. So um, they re they're really just encouraging you to go back and try again until you understand the concept um, rather than just trying to like um, give you a mark and say oh you know you didn't know it on that day so this is the mark that you get no like they, they really don't care about that they really want to make sure that the student is learning as much as possible and understanding and grasping the concepts um, as deeply as they possibly can so they're always happy to help in that way um, so usually what I do is I just come in here at the end of the week and I just check off where they are, um, see if they're where they're supposed to be. And then I give them um, in their schedule for the next week. I'll just say, OK, I want you to do, you know, three lessons or four lessons, um, depending on where they are with our pacing guide. Um, so that's about it. Um, Mr. D Math, um, one thing to know about it is that they don't have a free trial, uh, but they do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you want to try it out, um, you can just sign up. And if for any reason it's not working for you in those first 30 days, um, you can just go ahead and reach out to them and they would be happy to refund your money. Um, but I, I think you're going to love it. It's been such a game changer for us. Um, my kids love math now. Oh, I mean, <laughs> they don't hate math now. They don't complain about it. It's, it's still not necessarily their favorite subject, but, um, they're much happier to do it than they were before. And they, they have confidence that they understand the subjects that they're being taught. Um, and that means everything to me. And I'm so grateful to Mr. D and also his other amazing helper teachers uh, for making that possible because it's really changed how we do things in our homeschool. So uh, check out the blog post for more information. 
And um, if you have any questions at all, just message me on um, YouTube or Instagram, uh, and I'd be happy to chat more with you about Mr. DMath.